The Montoursville girls soccer team takes on Lewisburg in the semifinals of the district playoffs on Monday night. The Warriors just beat Milton in a shootout win. Talk about drama. They found a way to do it, and they do it with family. That's what Steve Lloyd says. Vic Garini separates his twin sister soccer players by the color of their cleats. It's that confusing at Matoursville for the head girls soccer coach trying to communicate with his players. Uh, yeah, a few of them, they're hard to tell apart. They help us out. They wear different colored cleats, which otherwise we'd be at a loss. Uh, from distance, we wouldn't tell them apart. And Coach Garini is talking about the three different sets of twins on his team. They're seniors Peyton and Finley Bragalone. Shiloh and Cheyenne Klemick, the other pair of seniors, and sophomores, Paige and Sydney Boyle. Talk about confusing. All of the twins on the team makes it a lot harder for us because we're all competing against each other and it makes us want to work harder to like beat the other sibling. What's it like to have a twin sister? It's a little chaotic, but it's fun and we are best friends. Um, it definitely helps us compete more at practice since we're so competitive with each other. It's crazy. Um, the other two are identical, so me and Shine don't actually get asked for twins that much. <laughs> but yeah, it is kind of crazy having three of us here. You kind of do a lot of sports together? Yeah, we do everything together. <laughs> we do track together. We run a lot of the same events. Um, we are in like a lot of the same clubs and stuff in school too. Yeah, we have like plays that we can do with each other. <laughs> like it feels easy to play with her. Well, Matoursville heads into the district playoffs with an undefeated record. And girls soccer out here in District 4 is so competitive, even with that undefeated record. The Lady Warriors head into the playoffs as the two seed. Really, it's a matter of, you know, that family atmosphere and the girls playing so hard for each other and um, strong community-based program growing up with them, and it just filters right into our high school team. Steve Lloyd, Newswatch 16 Sports, Lycoming County.